Welcome, travel enthusiasts, to another exciting episode on our Travel and Trip Ideas channel. Today, we're venturing to the heart of the Andes, to the awe-inspiring citadel of Machu Picchu. We'll talk about the best times to visit, how to handle the altitude, and the various ways to reach this magical city. We will list the must-see spots in Machu Picchu, Aguas Calientes, and Cusco. And finally, we'll share some handy packing tips. Machu Picchu offers not just a journey through the pages of history, but also a feast for the senses. Picture yourself standing atop the terraced ruins, the cool mountain breeze on your face, the panoramic views of the Andean peaks stretching as far as the eye can see. Here, the past and the present converge, offering a unique opportunity to connect with an ancient civilization while reveling in the sheer beauty of nature. Whether you're a history buff, a nature lover, or simply someone seeking a thrilling adventure, Machu Picchu has something for everyone. So, are you ready to start planning your trip to this world wonder? Let's dive in. First things first, when is the best time to visit Machu Picchu? Well, this largely depends on your preference for weather and crowds. Let's break it down by seasons. The dry season, from May to September, offers clear skies and a cooler climate. It's a fantastic time to capture breathtaking views of the Inca ruins. However, it's also the busiest period, so be prepared for a bustling atmosphere. The wet season, from October to April, is less crowded. If you don't mind occasional rain showers and a bit of mist, you could enjoy a more peaceful exploration. The lush greenery during this time is also a sight to behold. Keep in mind, local events like Inti Raymi in June can also draw more visitors. Inti Raymi is a traditional religious ceremony of the Inca Empire in honor of the god Inti, the most venerated deity in Inca religion. So if you're interested in experiencing Peruvian culture at its finest, this might be the perfect time for you. Now that you know when to go, the next big question is how to prepare for the high altitude. One of the challenges of visiting Machu Picchu is the high altitude. But don't worry, we've got some tips to help you acclimate. The city of Cusco, where most travelers begin their journey, sits at a lofty 11,000 feet. It's a wise idea to spend a few days here, allowing your body to adjust naturally to the thinner air. This will make your subsequent ascent to Machu Picchu at nearly 8,000 feet a bit easier. Staying hydrated is also key. The lack of oxygen at high altitudes can cause dehydration, so drink plenty of water. And if you're a fan of tea, indulge in some local coca tea. It's a traditional Andean remedy used to combat altitude sickness. Also, try to take it easy. Avoid strenuous activities and alcohol, which can exacerbate the effects of altitude sickness. Remember, it's not a race. It's about enjoying the journey. With these tips in mind, you're ready to make your way to the lost Incan city. Now, let's talk about how to get to Machu Picchu. There are numerous routes to this ancient Incan city, each offering its own unique journey. One of the most popular ways is by train. Peru Rail and Inca Rail both operate services from Cusco to Aguas Calientes, the town located at the foot of Machu Picchu. The scenic journey winds through the sacred valley, offering breathtaking views of the Andean landscape. Once you reach Aguas Calientes, buses run regularly up the winding road to Machu Picchu. But remember, you'll need to purchase your bus tickets in advance. You can do this online or at the ticket office in Aguas Calientes. For those with a more adventurous spirit, there are several treks to Machu Picchu that let you follow in the footsteps of the Incas. The most famous of these is the Inca Trail, a four-day trek through mountain passes, cloud forests, and ancient Incan ruins. It's a challenging journey, but reaching the Sun Gate and getting your first glimpse of Machu Picchu at sunrise is a reward like no other. Alternatively, there's the Salkantay Trek, a slightly longer route that takes you past the majestic Salkantay Mountain, or Choquequirao, a less traveled but equally fascinating trek that takes you to the ruins of what is often referred to as the sister city of Machu Picchu. These treks require a fair bit of planning, as you'll need to book a guide and secure a permit well in advance. It's also crucial to be prepared for varying weather conditions and the physical demands of high-altitude trekking. But no matter how you choose to get to Machu Picchu, be it by train, bus, or on foot, the journey is part of the adventure. The landscapes you'll traverse, the people you'll meet, and the history you'll encounter along the way 
contribute to the overall magic of the experience. Once you've reached your destination, you'll find there's plenty to see and do. Machu Picchu is more than just a historical site. There are plenty of activities to keep you entertained. The ruins themselves are a must-see, a testament to the ingenuity of the ancient Inca civilization. Take your time exploring the intricate stonework, the terraced fields, and the Temple of the Sun. When you're done, descend to the town of Aguas Calientes. Here, you can soak in the hot springs or indulge in local Peruvian cuisine. Try cuy, or guinea pig, a traditional Andean delicacy, or quench your thirst with a glass of chicha morada, a sweet drink made from purple corn. The city of Cusco, your likely starting point for this journey, also offers plenty to do. The vibrant San Pedro market is a feast for the senses, and the historic Plaza de Armas, with its beautiful cathedral, is a sight to behold. Before you set off on your adventure, let's talk about what you should pack. Packing for Machu Picchu can be a bit tricky, but we've got some tips to help you out. Always remember, layers are your best friend. Pack breathable, quick-drying clothing and a sturdy pair of hiking boots. Don't forget your essentials like a high SPF sunscreen, a hat, and sunglasses to protect you from the high-altitude sun. Hydration is key, so a reusable water bottle is a must. Lastly, pack light. You'll be carrying everything with you as you explore. Don't bring drones, umbrellas, walking sticks, or trekking poles, since they're all prohibited at Machu Picchu. Travelers who require sticks or poles for mobility can bring them in, but only with protective rubber tips over the ends. With these packing tips, you're all set for your trip. That wraps up our guide to Machu Picchu. Remember, every journey is an adventure, and Machu Picchu is no exception. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. Until next time, safe travels.